uh, distance could be causing an issue, but I think most importantly, there's some type of emotional or even physical distance that is like causing problems. I feel as though um, there's a partner here that is expecting to not really put that much effort into things and they just still expect to be rewarded in some way. Um, I feel as though when you guys do come together and you do see eye to eye, it's for like brief pre periods of time. <laughs> For a very few of you, yes, it could indicate a third person. There is indication here of this. But for some, I feel as though it could also just pertain to this person's work ethic. I feel so someone is just not motivated to put energy into seeing something. Hi, beautiful Taurus. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, thank you so much for checking me out. My name is Victoria from VX Prada. Okay, Taurus, this is going to be a video for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into it next two weeks, all right? I already filmed this video, but I just was guided to refilm it because I feel as though I was not hitting the spots when it came to the most important parts of your reading. And I feel as though since you do tend to be hard-headed, I needed to come back with this today energy and kind of just uh, touch base with you again, all right? Moonology cards, just scan overall idea of the energy surrounding you. I got the step outside your comfort zone card, all right? This is the North Node card. So a little bit of information, a little bit of background on this. I was picking up on this energy in your last reading. I was definitely picking up on you playing it safe, you not having all the information that you needed just yet in order to make a, a move, all right? So there was a decision you may have been weighing out your options with. Uh, there was a lot of stagnancy that I was picking up on you, Taurus, and I was guiding you to take a bit more time outside, a little bit more time doing things that are fun for you. I felt as though your finances and your career life were uh, hindering other parts of your world so this could be your love life was suffering because either you were too focused on you know financial issues or too focused on work you were not putting enough energy towards your family life and your love life all right so that was one issue I was telling you not to miss out on an opportunity for love that is coming your way stepping outside your comfort zone also requires you to break cycle stores uh, the north node is all about aligning yourself with your destiny and your destiny on this earth since we are all here um, for learning purposes basically your destiny is not going to revolve around you backpedaling in order to have any type of growth it's going to have to be uncomfortable you're going to have to actually find like go out of your way sometimes to make the best out of an opportunity but to turn that opportunity into a learning opportunity okay so i hope that makes sense i'm just telling you not to take the easy way out all the time and sometimes taurus you do have the tendency of over complicating things or overly simplifying things okay so you may not be really putting to the forefront of your mind the importance of actively aligning yourself with your past with your 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 destiny and your journey and all of that so i just came here today to help you kind of get back on track i was sensing that you were feeling ungrounded i was sensing that you were putting attributing a little bit too much importance on your bank account on the clothes you wear on the house you live in i feel as though you were putting too much emphasis on superficial matters and this is not going to be things that you can take to the grave with you all right you know what i'm saying I just have to vent to you guys real quick. All right, so overall energy surrounding Taurus. You already know those of you who are not new to my channel, we always start with the overall energy surrounding, you know, work and career, all that stuff, and then we go into love, okay? So let's pick up on more specific energy surrounding Taurus, um, career and finances for the next two weeks, and overall spiritual energy surrounding Taurus. <clears throat> <laughs> um seven of swords every time this card comes up i know it's some sneaky shit happening all right um i feel as though you guys have given up on a project but you're doing so in a private manner in a secretive manner um so i don't know if this was initially a secret project that you were working on but i feel so you've you've low-key given up on something this could be a relationship for some of you but i'm seeing that there was something that needed consistent effort and you were low-key giving up on it all right let me see more what is going on what are you giving up on 
what is Taurus giving up on or sneaking away from? It's kind of as though you are at work, you know, you're clocked in at work and you are kind of sneaking off to do other things. Maybe you're taking longer breaks than you're supposed to, but I'm feeling a bit of a uh, reckless energy coming from you. You just don't want to be tied down to something. You don't want to work anymore. You don't have that that focus that you usually have. I, I, I would bet all my money to say that whatever you dropped, Taurus, is something that was not emotionally fulfilling you. All right let's let's see what is taurus being sneaky about or what is taurus walking away from i don't feel so you're walking away from this necessarily but like something has changed and you're not providing that type of information to people around you maybe your family members still think that you're working at one place but you actually quit that job you've been quit that job you've been working at another job a whole different different career or something like that okay let's see what taurus you are so secretive okay but let's find out what you are hiding what is taurus hiding taurus are more secretive than scorpio i would bet my whole life on that all right what is taurus hiding what is taurus hiding what is taurus hiding we got the nine of wands you may be hiding something that you've been plotting on for some time and this could be something that is outside your comfort zone this could be something that you've always been kind of hesitant of doing and now you are um starting up this new project or you are looking further into you know what what needs to get done but i see you doing something different doing something that may surprise those around you like oh you're really into that you're really doing that you really oh okay but you're not letting people know that you're into this just yet okay so this is definitely secret <laughs> yeah i mean come on we got the hermit energy this is all about uh isolation okay so i feel so you're spending a lot of time at home or a lot of time just straight up by yourself and you are researching something there's something that you are going over and you are um just getting like details about something and then we got the six of swords so if this is a career reading i would definitely say that you are walking away from some type of career uh some type of job i feel so also if you've had any type of uh issues at work if there was any type of drama or you just were not satisfied i see that spending time alone quality time by yourself is going to help you recenter your energy and i feel as though when you do get back to work you know maybe you're off on weekends you're going back to work on monday or maybe you are actually going to take time off okay if you are taking time off um i just see you coming back to work and feeling renewed or suddenly things are less chaotic things are just more more of the pace that you would appreciate them to be so i see things uh taking a turn further better but there's definitely something that you are working on behind closed doors i feel so you could also be up at night researching something the hermit card here reminds me of someone uh, kind of like on their computer or on their phone late at night because this is not a daytime card so i feel so you are either up early in the morning or you're up late at night researching something or I don't know sending out applications okay let's see more of what Taurus is hiding what is this that you are thinking about but whatever it is I'm really glad to see that it's, it's it, you're considering stepping out of your shell I'm not gonna rush you Taurus I like that I'm seeing progress compared to the last reading I do appreciate that let's see more for what Taurus is hiding or what is Taurus being secretive about what is Taurus being secretive about what is Taurus being secretive about? <laughs> okay. Is, okay, we got the, um, sorry, the seven. We got the eight of wands. <laughs> Look at this, Taurus. Okay, we got the eight of wands in reverse. We also got the uh, nine of swords in reverse. There was definitely something that, whatever you are doing, Taurus, is something that you've been overthinking for a long time. This is something that was likely causing you to stay up at night. I'm picking up on insomnia. I'm picking up on um, also like emotional turmoil. I'm feeling as though you may be feeling anxious or paranoid about this, but not anymore. You're actually releasing any fears associated to this jump. Um, I also see Taurus that um, you haven't been fully happy when it comes to the way your life has been unfolding as of late and i do see you taking control over your life again i do see you no. um, um taking action and um deciding what it is you truly want out of life and that's a beautiful thing i feel so um for most of you taurus the pandemic really forced you to be honest with yourself 
it did that for a lot of people but i'm feeling an emphasis on taurus like it was an eye-opening time because you were forced to stop your routine you're so focused on doing the same thing every day at the same the same way right so the pandemic forced you to take a moment and be like wait hold up are you happy do you really truly resonate with this like what's really going on you had to check in with yourself and I don't think that it was pretty. I think that it was um, very difficult. I think you had a lot of sleepless nights or nights where you were just not feeling like yourself. And I feel so you were able to pull yourself out of this own hole. I'm seeing a lot of independent energy here, Taurus. So this is really a beautiful work that you have done for yourself um, in terms of your spiritual journey because you were able to pull yourself out of any type of emotional turmoil and if you are still currently processing and experiencing uh you know the this this kind of like negative energy where you're feeling trapped you're feeling confused and you're not sure how to go about things i do see your answers coming to you soon and it's actually funny because i don't know if i mentioned i pulled a second moonology card and it said the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini okay so this is especially true if you have gemini energy within your chart most uh taurus placements do okay so i love that for you okay let me just um wrap up the life part of your reading let me get any more cards on taurus i'm proud of you taurus i need you to know that i'm proud of you obviously are very modest and i don't think that you truly open up to others and show them the struggles that you're going through especially when it comes to like emotional troubles or any type of mental health issues i see you being quite um guarded when it comes to that um but i have to give you props for pulling yourself out of the mental rut that you were experiencing all right let's see more for Taurus before we move on to love i'm really glad that i refilmed this because i was like i can't let you go out like that just can't do it let's get more for Taurus. Ooh, we got the lovers so it really could be possible that as you are aligning yourself on your path and doing things that you would normally do and like i said going out of your way to enrich your your life experience here on earth i do see you being able to align yourself with your tribe you're able to align yourself with like-minded people this is going to be um, a group of people or a specific person that inspires you when it comes to your spiritual journey okay this could also sometimes be a therapist someone that brings you some type of wisdom and knowledge that um that paves the way for you so it could be a therapist it could be a best friend it doesn't always need to be romantic but since there is you know the lover's card it does kind of indicate some type of uh you know romance some type of like chemistry okay but this is someone that you really vibe with on all levels i'm talking emotional physical and spiritual okay it's not just it's not just about one thing with this person it's all types of things like this person really inspires you to take on a new level this is someone like i said inspiration this is really what i think about with the lover's card is inspiration okay and also which is also funny is that the lover's card um is also uh my card for gemini energy so that goes into the full moon in gemini so you could be dealing with the gemini maybe these are significant gemini is a significant energy within your natal chart okay let's move on to the love portion of your reading tour we're also going to look into who may be coming your way when it comes to love so what type of partner you may be attracting we may be picking up on also their sign so let's just see the overall energy surrounding your love life first and then we'll get to that and then of course your angel love messages cannot do without those okay energy surrounding taurus's love life i hope that i don't see the secrecy card right here oh i do like this um taurus i'm seeing an emphasis on maturity i'm seeing an emphasis on specifically emotional maturity so things that used to bother you in the past no longer bother you the same way i'm seeing a great amount of healing i see you being able to fully walk away and recover from an emotional matter that was previously difficult for you to let go of okay so we got the um the seven of cups sorry no this is the eight of cups yeah, i'm sorry eight of cups in reverse i love that okay for some maybe you are struggling to let go of something and your love life would benefit from you uh again tapping into that emotional uh, maturity okay because someone here may be um letting the past still beat them up but um no i'm seeing that there's no reason to be holding on to this okay 
hangman in reverse followed by the three of cups again i'm seeing a lot of emphasis on um spending more time by yourself i also feel as though you may have been betrayed in the past or recently uh when it comes to a friend of yours maybe a friend of yours or friends were friends <laughs> we're trying to make some type of move on your crush or on your partner i feel as though there could have been betrayal when it comes to a group of friends or a group of people okay there could have also been some type of gossip um surrounding you so people could have been um talking shit about you okay let's see more I definitely see you taking your distance from people for the next two weeks and isolating yourself. There's something that you need to think over for those of you who haven't fully healed. I do see that you will be prioritizing your healing um, before, you know, introducing yourself to new people and putting yourself out there again. Um, but I do see also a possible mention of uh, cheating. So again, this could have also been a past issue. I do feel so it's not that recent, but I, I'm seeing mention of possible cheating. So maybe you could have been obviously heard by a partner that was cheating on you or just um having some type of inappropriate relationship with someone that is close to you or someone that you actually considered close okay energy is picking up um okay interesting we got the hyphen in reverse and we got the six of wands okay i want you to pace yourself taurus things are going to feel a bit more all over the place when it comes to your love life i'm not sure what exactly will be happening because the energy is kind of vague here but they're showing me um they're showing me excitement they're showing me um physical energy like intensifying and so you could be finding yourself uh doing more physical activities like especially outdoors um, I, it kind of feels as though you've lost some type of Fight. I feel as though um, this could also pertain to the gossiping or the backstabbing that you've experienced. I feel as though people were trying to taint your public image. So someone could have been maybe um, talking badly about you on social media, for instance, feeling very enthusiastic about some type of um, uh, relationship, even though I'm seeing that you two did not truly connect well in terms of life-term goals, okay? Or I'm also picking up on uh, religion or speech or spirituality uh, contradicting, not contradicting each other, but just clashing, okay? So I'm feeling as though uh, religious factors were playing uh, some type of uh, role within your love life and i feel so whatever it is it left you feeling uh kind of bruised a little I'm, I'm seeing mention of a bruised ego all right interesting let's look into who is coming your way and then hopefully we can get more insight on what went wrong but i'm feeling as though pace yourself don't rush into a relationship wait until you really know the person not saying the person could be up to something bad but i feel as though you need to make sure you guys really do connect because there's certain things that you cannot overlook okay so it could be maybe even a political matter i'm just seeing you want to make sure this person is on the same wavelength as you in course course all right two of cup we got the king of pentacles uh, right off the bat i'm picking up on distance being a factor within your love life this could be a long distance relationship or just someone that doesn't live nearby and i'm feeling as though that could be one of the that person's reasons as to why they should not commit to you okay so someone is kind of like if you're here we can make it happen but we are not close to each other right now and so it's not going to be possible for me to commit to you so someone could be turning down the proposal of a long distance relationship uh but i'm seeing that someone just is not in a chapter in their life where they are able to commit and where they are able to set long-term goals and actually meet them i'm feeling as though someone um may be irresponsible they may even be having financial issues at this time they may be unable able to uh for example hold down a job i'm just seeing you know indication that someone isn't ready to really settle down let's see more who's coming towards taurus this could also be you honestly because i am picking up on earth energy okay so who is coming towards taurus yeah we got the tower card 
we got the tower card followed by the hierophant i really feel as though things are going to come crashing down in a way that reveals the cracks in your relationship or in your dynamic i feel as though some of you may have to change um um whatever type of thought pattern you've been using up until this point something happens this could be a an event a specific event that happens that changes the course of your love life okay and i see that this person could be suddenly ending things um or someone realizes that you're you're just not on the same page when it comes to like when it comes to marriage or when it comes to uh maybe even gender roles i'm feeling as though there's people's philosophies are not coming together and you are about to find that out okay let's see more for who's coming in for taurus who's coming in for taurus and yeah you might be dealing with another taurus placement who's coming in for taurus just want to let you guys know those of you who are brand new to astrology you do not need to know someone's time of birth in order to know their moon sign okay so if you know someone's birthday and you know the year of their birth all you need to do is google birth chart put in that information and then uh you'll be able to see their moon sign uh you know what sign their mercury is in things of the sort because i'm feeling as though someone here could be a taurus but i feel as though the placement is hidden so you might have been thinking that you were dealing with a gemini for instance just an example you thought you were dealing with a gemini but no they're a taurus moon and when they say something they really mean it okay <laughs> i was just going to share that let me just see more of who's coming in what are what are their intentions what are the intentions because as of right now i'm seeing that they feel as though things are not going to work out all right what are the intentions of the person coming towards taurus intentions of the person coming towards taurus yeah we got the temperance card in reverse we got the we got a 10 of pentacles this person does not want to get married i don't feel, feel as though they want to settle down i'm also picking up on a monogamous relationship that's something they're not interested in they're interested in something that is non-traditional okay non-traditional so whatever ideas you have they do not have this idea taurus like they're not thinking about that okay i don't want to be too hard on you but they're not thinking about that you're not on the same page and also i'm picking up on a lack of harmony i think that you could also benefit from having some type of mediator so this could be a, a, a you know a therapist you know some type of couples counseling situation but i'm feeling as though you could also benefit from having a third party that is unbiased to help you guys figure out what is going on especially if you already have children with this person you've been together for a long time i'm seeing some type of separation some type of something is happening that is going to cause you to realize you don't have the same life goals okay let me see more let me see more and in some cases this is a divorce okay let me see more this person also may be coming from a different type of family dynamic maybe that's where they got their their ideas from okay we see the four of cups in reverse and then followed by the death card I feel as though last minute someone does feel as though they could make it work, but then the death card comes in and ends it. And then we got the three of swords of wands in reverse. Um, I feel as though someone may have been afraid uh, to move on. Someone may have been afraid to let go of a relationship no, because like someone feels as though they've lost their directions and some sense of self here. And I'm feel picking up on uh, a rebirth. All right had to take a little second we are back as i was saying someone here um so i was playing cards on who's coming towards you right and we got the four cups in reverse followed by the death card and then the three of wands in reverse again like i was saying before i'm picking up on an energy that does not want to be in a committed relationship they are feeling as though they are tied down this person may uh, want to travel or like i said distance is a huge factor in this reading so this could also indicate um a failed long distance relationship but i'm seeing that someone feels as though they are tied down okay when they are in a relationship they are feeling restricted and then with the four of cups here i feel as though there's an opportunity for them to end things okay there's an opportunity for them to uh reinvent them so, I'm just picking up on someone uh, wanting to change their life around. See already. what will come out of this relationship between you two. Because right now I'm seeing indication that it may be ending or it may be transforming into something different. Okay, so I just want to see what, what will come out of this transitional stage of things. Okay, again, long distance. 
Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, specifically Leo. We got the strength card here. This person is not close by, okay? Maybe you haven't seen this person in a long time. Even if you've grown up with this person, this may have been a like a childhood love of yours, you know, a high school love bird situation. But I'm feeling as though even if you had history with this person, even if you may not have been able to move on from this person, I'm seeing that um, childlike behaviors are really hindering your connection with this person. I feel so it's mostly on their side because I'm feeling a lot of um, emotional uh, suppression happening here. I feel so this person is simply not in touch. There's, they're not well balanced within themselves and it's not their fault. This is simply a chapter in their lives and they are, uh, they have the right to be you know to to not be tied down to things that they really do feel tied down um with the strength card here i feel so someone here is focusing um not only on rebranding themselves but they are also focusing on honing in their internal power okay so someone here is trying to be more confident someone here is trying to um put themselves out there and take control over their life again okay um they're no longer going to let insecurities play a role within their love lives and cause more delays i'm feeling as though someone here is very adventurous with all the fire energy um i feel as though taurus what you will get out of this relationship is going to be a wake-up call i think that a lot of you are entertaining things that are not fulfilling you emotionally you may be tied down to someone that is not fulfilling their end of the deal and i feel so this is taking a huge toll on you okay let's get some angel love messages we got the healing family issues card especially when it comes to your childhood upbringing i feel as though that's definitely something you have to uh focus on okay pull more angel cards for taurus sun moon rising venus okay so we got two cards taurus we got the forgiving and learning card which goes hand in hand with the healing family issues card this card says, um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This pertains to you walking away from an emotional matter and needing to hone in the growth, okay? The growth that you are guided to to focus on, okay, as you heal. And then we got the express your love card. So I do feel as though someone may not be knowing how they truly, uh, how you truly feel about them. You may be holding back emotionally, which was, you know, the energy I was picking up on. You may also be scared of opening yourself up and opening your heart up to the love that the universe wants to bring your direction. So it says here, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? Uh, express your love is what I'm picking up on. <laughs> one card fell on the floor i could not see the card and it took me a while with my nails to pick it up and i was just thinking i'm recruited love this is why i was guided to continue pulling cards because i felt as though you know i had three cards laid out here i felt as though the fourth card was going to be this card and here it is i'm recruited love i'm telling you taurus I don't even have to keep emphasizing it you know who i'm talking about at this point you know the dynamic i'm talking about like there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i'm gonna end the reading here taurus you know what i'm talking about so i'm just going to i'm also guided to remind you to rewatch this video at any time this message does not expire yes there is a two week time frame but your messages do not expire you receive your messages when you need to receive them and when you receive these messages they are yours for life so what i'm saying is taurus uh feel free to re-watch this video at any time that you need additional courage or uh, faith because i feel as though you are ignoring red flags or you're just ignoring what your intuition has been telling you for some time and i think that's why we've seen the tower cards because you've been overlooking certain things and now the universe is going to get a little bit more tough on you all right same way i'm coming back with this energy with this video with a, a bit more tough tough love because i think that you cannot just go living your life ignoring things and um suppressing emotions and sticking to something that is not serving you and not serving your purpose the universe is going to rearrange all of that for you if you do not put the work and put the effort in aligning yourself to what it is that you 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 need to be aligned with okay remember this card I don't know where the other one went but oh here it is step out of your comfort zone it's going to be scary it's gonna be intimidating but you need to do it okay 
goodbye Taurus.